Marco Rubio is going to go on Fox News to attack the Democratic debate, and he's going to engage in some classic projection. I think the biggest threat to her candidacy is her outdated ideas. If you watched that debate last night, it looked like something from the early 80s. It was basically an, a liberal versus liberal debate about who was going to give away the most free stuff. Free college education. Free college education for people illegally in this country. Uh, free health care. Free everything. Their answer to every problem in America is a government program and a tax increase. That's all they prescribe time and time again. And this is stuff from the 80s, the mid-80s. And uh, we're, we're back there, except, that, as I said before the debate, it, it became exactly what I predicted it would be, a race to the left. All right, so I love that clip because he says so many things that speak more to Republicans. So, for example, he says, well, I mean, the problem is what we're talking about here is outdated ideas. These guys represent outdated ideas. We're having a debate from the early 1980s here. That's what it is. Oh, really? It's the Democrats who are having an outdated debate. Your entire party is based on failed ideas. And that's not my opinion. That's empirically proven. So when it comes to economics, all of you guys, all of you guys, believe in trickle-down economics, or voodoo economics, as it's more appropriately called. Which is this idea that if you cut taxes for the rich, and deregulate, well then everything's gonna be great, and there's gonna be so many private sector jobs created. But we tried that in the 19-teens and the 1920s. And what happened? The Great Depression, the stock market crash and the Great Depression. Because when you deregulate and you cut taxes for the rich, what you have is a boom-bust cycle. So you have all this wealth creation, but it's not we real wealth creation. And then eventually the bubble bursts and we're left worse off than we were before. And then it's not just in the 19-teens and 1920s we learned this. We also learned it under Ronald Reagan. People like, oh, Ronald Reagan's economic record was fantastic. Except that it wasn't, because the second he fucking left office, all of his shitty policies caught up, and then we had a recession. And then, again, under George W. Bush, same thing. And Bill Clinton helped with this, too, because Bill Clinton was a, a right-leaning guy on economics as well. I mean, he uh, repealed Glass-Steagall. He signed the graham leach bliley Act, which repealed Glass-Steagall, which was a necessary firewall between investment banking and commercial banking. That also led to a tremendous crash. So, again, deregulating, cutting taxes for the rich, it increases income inequality, and it crashes the stock market. And every single fucking time you try it, you fail, and then you come out five years later and say, I know what the solution is. Deregulate and cut taxes for the rich. So, you guys are the ones who repeat the same ideas. And I like how he says their answer to everything is government. As if it's like a monolithic thing, and as if it's like, you know, they're all the same because they think there are government solutions to some things. Well, Marco, they think government is solution, is the solution in some cases, which is why they're running to be in government. If you don't think government is the solution, then get the fuck in the private sector. Uh, who runs for a job and says, I don't believe in this thing I'm running for? Could you imagine that in any other field? I'm going to become a tennis pro, but I don't believe in tennis. Well, then why the fuck are you becoming a tennis pro? That doesn't make any sense. This is what the entire Republican Party is based off of. You know, I don't believe in government, but I'm going to run to be in there anyway. Well, that that's ridiculous. And... Government programs, like, if you try to attack a problem with a government program, there's only thousands of ways and thousands of different programs you can create to try to attack a single problem. And some of the programs work better than others, and some of them don't work at all. So there's variation in there, and it requires a smart person trying to craft the best solution. That's not monolithic. That's not all the same. You know what is all the same? You guys, because you guys say no matter what, Deregulate and cut taxes. That's your answer for everything. So you are the ones that repeat yourselves over and over. You're the ones that have stale ideas. And the entire time you talk about it like the Democrats have stale ideas. And let's be clear, it's not even true that the Democrats say government is the answer to everything. Hillary Clinton said it and Bernie Sanders said it. That during the debate, that of course we all believe in small business. Of course we all believe in, Bernie said, medium-sized businesses as well. You know, we, we're an entrepreneurial nation. There's nothing wrong with that. So it's not correct, as I've often laid out on the show here. There are some things where government is the answer, some things where the private sector is the answer. That doesn't make me monolithic. That doesn't make me have stale ideas. That makes me nuanced. That makes me actually give a shit about the issues and have a balanced opinion. So, for example, do I want the government making video games? No. Do I want the government making couches? No. Uh, do I want the government making... 
Movies, no. Cars, no. The private sector handles those things better. It's been proven. We see throughout history, cars from the Soviet Union were horrendous. They were beyond shitty. Cars out of the U.S. were much better. So, yeah, some things, capitalism is the answer. Private sector is the answer. Government shouldn't be leading the charge there. But in other areas, like healthcare, like education, that imp is empirically proven that government handles it better. Look at the other modern nations. So, again, it's classic projection. It's Marco Rubio accusing the left of what he's guilty of.